today we're going to be talking about fixing color cast and white balancing problems inside DaVinci Resolve 14. So occasionally you'll get footage um, which needs to be neutralized as you can see for the waveform, uh, the vector scope and the parade. For issues like this which are color cast issues, every single part of this image is contaminated orange and yellow. I would use the offset controls because it adjusts everything in tandem and you can just get things to a very good starting point. It does require a little bit of finessing with the three ways. So just getting those highlights a little bit more natural daylight blue. And having a look at the skin tones. And also just getting this hair right. A little bit more brown, I think. Cool. And after all of that, let's just put, add some more saturation back in. Cool. Right, so that is a very quick way of adjusting the white balance with mainly using the offset control and then tweaks. So let's take that as a still. Let's clear this off and try another method. So that was the offset. Um, you can also approach it by just jumping in straight away to the three-way correctors, your lift gamma gain. So in this case, um, I love having reference points. So for my highlights, I'll be looking at the tiles uh, for the Midtones, I'll be looking at the skin, and for the shadows, I'll probably look at the hair. Let's just make some adjustments. So, tiles are very yellow and green, so that's looking nice, right? Nice and natural daylight shining on the tiles here. Then we look at the skin tone. Skin tone's yellow, so let's fix some of that. Um, yes, that's looking a lot more normal. Um, and then her hair is still looking a little bit ready. So if we just make that a little bit more brown. Yeah, see? That's looking nice. And now everything's looking a little bit deset, so let's stink. Right, so that's quite nice. I mean, maybe a little bit more blue. Right, okay. That's looking quite nice. So that's just using the three ways, no offset control used. And then resetting for the last time, the temperature and tint sliders. Something about this tool is that it doesn't affect your pure blacks. So if we drag the slider all the way over here, you can see that it doesn't really affect your shadows. It does completely fix your highlight cast. It's something to bear in mind so that with color casts, you might not want to gravitate towards temperature and tint controls. If you wanted to do it the fastest way, the offset is easier because it does affect everything in tandem. It affects the shadows as well as the highlights and midtones. But anyway, let's just try and use the tools and see what happens. Let's balance this out, as much of that orange out as we can. See those highlights are starting to look good now. And with the tint, I don't think it has a particularly green or purple pull. I think maybe taking a little bit of purple out of the skin tones is good. So that's right off the bat. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and adjust the three ways just to balance out. Probably a little bit into the highlights and then probably a little bit into the skin tones as well. And then adding our saturation. As you can see, um, with the white balance and with the offset controls, if there's a big color cast, you'll always need to finesse your three ways. Um, but let's just take the still clear this off and then have a compare of the three methods so this one was the offset um, with a few lift gamma gain tweaks right looks fairly fairly better than it did to start off with um, then if we go to our just our three-way correctors bluer um, and the highlights and then if we go to our third option which was our white balance and then some three-way yeah, it, it looks pretty much the same. There's some very small differences in the skin tones, but end of the day, it's very comparable. Um, obviously, this one looks the yellowest, but that's, I think, just an inconsistency from my part. That's not to do with the tools. What I'm trying to get across is that those three tools that I mentioned, all of them equally as good as each other. For color cast issues, I'd go offset. If there was color balance issues on the camera, temperature and tint would be my first port of call. And if you've got some really wacky colors going on, the three-way color correctors definitely give you the most control and finesse. Potentially the slowest, but the most precise way of adjusting your color balance slash color cast issues. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful for all of your white balancing color cast needs. Um, I'll catch you next time.